This is a 3D printed airsoft ballistic knife, which unfortunately I'm not allowed to use right now. This knife was designed by Snorri, so make sure you check out the description because there's a link to the Colts page for this. And he named it Who 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 Hone Who Hune? Who I think is one of the three Norse gods. I printed the knife on an Ender 3 with basic black PLA. Now ideally you'd want a TPU blade, however my printer can't accommodate TPU just yet, so I just printed a PLA blade and dulled it down. And inside the hilt is a AEP spring which I've epoxied inside like so, and that pushes against this 3D printed plunger here, and the bolt on the plunger locks into this notch here like a bayonet cap. And to fire it you push it to one side, and it flies out like that. Maximum range of this knife, well, <laughs> about three meters if you're lucky. So it's about as practical and useful as a real ballistic knife. Now unfortunately my local site will not allow mock blades. Now I do have a solution to this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to print another plunger assembly and I'm going to epoxy on a small foam ball on the end. That way there is no sharp point, no mock blade. Of course it won't be realistic but hopefully, fingers crossed, they will allow it on. So it's definitely an unusual and interesting bit of kit although I imagine it's going to be an absolute bastard to get a kill with. But when has that stopped me before? Of course the problem with something like this is you've got a limited range to begin with and you got one shot so if you miss someone with that knife blade you're fucked. And whilst we're on the topic of unusual airsoft gadgets for sending the enemy back to respawn make sure you check out my video of myself firing airsoft pistol here.